Today is finally new wife day for my butt. What? <laughs> it's new, new bike day for my wife. My wife, Sarah, is a phenomenal rider and she's done a lot of great things on a pretty good bike. But today, we're gonna get her a really good bike so she can get even better. <laughs> my fine friends at Ibis were somehow, some way able to get their hands on a bike for Sarah, which is pretty uh, ridiculous in times like these. So very much a big thank you to my sponsor, Ibis, forever indebted. And they sent it a few weeks ago while Brian wasn't here. And so I've had to just sit and keep them in my apartment, just staring at them, wondering what's inside. Cause I literally know nothing about the bike except for the color. I did not allow her to open it. <laughs> had to be on camera. Wow, this whole thing is ready to go. Whoa, dang. Look at this little thing. Man, that's like uh, packed with care. You gotta secure this thing while we're here. We don't want it falling down. What are you securing? <laughs> I've got my Amazon USB cable here. <laughs> as good as anything else. Double check all the boxes. Yeah, we're not throwing anything away. Yeah. Oh, it's a fork. <laughs> oh, duh. <laughs> With That's the instruction cool. manual. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, they have really nice instruction I've never manuals. Seen that. Check this out. I've never seen any bike come with a book like this. And look at the illustrations. Wait, wait, where were they? Oh yeah, right here. That's so cool. Whoa. <laughs> and this one, this is perfect because I suck at bike maintenance. So this is the Ibis Ripley X01 build in medium in the, uh, what was the actual name of the blue color? Some kind of, they all have funny names for the blue. Um, blue steel. Blue steel. Dear blue steel face. <laughs> this bike has 130 millimeters of travel in the front, 120 in the rear. It's a size medium. Sarah's five foot seven inches tall. She rides a medium. I'm five foot ten inches tall. I ride a medium, and I found moving to the medium from the large was awesome. So I could actually ride this bike if I want to. Mm -hmm. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> Do you want any more stats? If you want any more stats, you can go to the website. We'll link it in the description. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this beautiful thing. The last time it will ever be <laughs> this nice. Give it a kiss. It's always, <laughs> it's always so amazing, especially the chain ring. The chain ring is just so amazing when it's brand new and then never again. So the X01 build comes with a nice Ibis handlebar grips and an i9 stem but we're gonna put on some Trail One components because we love giving back to the trails with our components. Do not use a blade to open. Daredevil. Ooh, you got some titanium stem bolts. Yeah. Oil slick. I pretty much got one of everything from the Trail One site. <gasps> and my t-shirt's in there. <gasps> Yay. Dun, dun, dun. Yay. All right, we got the grips. In black, we've got the stem in black as well, and the handlebar. Ooh, yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we gotta repurpose nice it for something. That's cool. <laughs> oh, those bags. The Crockett handlebars. I could store the old bar in there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness, light as a feather. Got the decal kit as well, the semi-stealth. It's like the white outline. Mm. I like that one the best. It's like when you try to put those screens on your phone. <laughs> Oh, nope, too far. Okay, we've got the cockpit set up pretty good. I don't know exactly where your fingers and thumbs are gonna be, but let's mm -hmm. put on the grips and then we'll get there. Hell's Gate grips coming up. I like to do it where the bolt is on the bottom more because it's a little more accessible from the bottom mm -hmm. than on the top because some of this other stuff can get in the way. Okay. They're ambidextrous, <laughs> however you want to. So let's oh, yeah. see, now we have slam to push it in that there. In. Yeah, let's see how much further it'll go. There's a little bit of wiggle room. Light as a feather. Nice. Oh man, these are hefty, hefty, hefty. Oh, they're already, I wonder if they're tubeless already. They're Heart? like already really. Does it feel like there's liquid in there? Mm, that's hard to tell. I don't no, think so. No, Hold, please. <laughs> <laughs> she did a four when it's supposed to be a five. <laughs> 
I haven't memorized my numbers yet. <laughs> it's like one of those things where you have to guess how many jelly beans are in the jar just by <laughs> eyeing it. it. Like is. when I eye it, I'm just like, uh, I don't <laughs> got it. <laughs> A thousand jelly beans. Yeah, I always sucked at those. Okay. Was anyone ever good at those? I think some people were. The people who won the jelly beans. <laughs> I'm so jealous of this cassette. Because <laughs> it's clean? Yeah, it's just so nice. Mine yeah. is so destroyed. The black is all gone. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to ride it first. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no pedals on it. You're not riding it. Time for your pedals. You got the Shimano Saint pedals. Yeah, so I feel like I've been completing my transformation from cross country to enduro <laughs> Aren't ever we since all? I met you. And I used to have the, I don't know what they're called, the ones with no platform. And these are the ones with tons of platform and lots of extra weight. Do five or six miles around the terrace. Uh -huh. All right, tubeless tire time. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> First crash. So we began the day on a hunt for tubeless sealant, and uh, we went to the Crimson Bike Shop, which was supposed to open at noon. Nobody was there. At 12.05. So no we left, there. and we went down the street to the Cambridge Bike Shop, and that place was hopping. It was hustling and bustling, and we got this little thing of sealant for $20. <laughs> but it was worth it. It's always nice to get out on the blue bikes. So most bikes come from the factory with tubes. It's just one of those things. I just think it's so, uh, such a pain. Nope, there's sealant in here. Oh, yes! <laughs> so, they did us good! <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ibis! You can tell? Yeah. Nice! I didn't hear it, though. Yeah. Now I hear it. Oh, I, wasn't, I didn't have my hearing aid on. Yeah, we both checked and we both thought, so okay, it's actually yeah. set up tubeless. I think that's pretty rare. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's just the liquid and the setting it up and everything, but we don't have to deal with it. So we're yeah, good. Yeah, that's awesome. We've got the extra sealant for future emergencies. So I just spent the past few minutes fiddling around and getting Sarah's one-up pump multi-tool onto the bottle cage so it doesn't actually hit when she pedals and it's as close as I can possibly get it to the frame because you don't want any kind of frame rub stuff. And my awesome solution for frame rub stuff is this 3M Scotch tape. It's 228 rubber mastic tape. I haven't been able to find this on Amazon lately, but I happen to have a little uh, roll in my shed at home. Uh-oh, stuff's blown away. So there's always a couple places on your bike that you gotta look out for, for rub. And for me, it's always the rear brake. This back brake hose is always a trouble spot, so it's a really good spot for some mastic tape. Sometimes you double it up just to make it extra thick. Okay, so now we need a little shock pump action. So you always, I don't know, you add your weight plus 20, so what's um, 200 plus 20? I don't weigh 200. What? What? You're gonna need a new wife for your new bike day, whatever your <laughs> expression was. 135 on the dot. Yep. Now I know everyone wishes Brian was the one pumping the tires so you could see his big old biceps, but we're just gonna have to deal with me and my tiny little uh, dinosaur arms. <laughs> <laughs> 25. Okay, now I got all this I got to do. We've got a pump track to get to. So in the time between building up Sarah's bike and building up my bike from the bike bag, it poured and it got gloomy and dark and we still got to get out there and go find this uh, Velo Solutions pump track that you've never been to. No, I just walked past it longingly. Good first break in the bike. Yeah. Feels amazing already. <laughs> Parking lot perfect. The Harvard Stadium? Yeah. Football stadium? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, by the way, Sarah goes to Harvard. Woo! <laughs> it's like the gladiator arena. Yeah. Harvard Business School. Oh, it really looks like the Coliseum from here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, 
she go fast. <laughs> oh my lord. Why are you going so fast? It's different going the other way. <laughs> okay, you go that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go high. Just like I planned it. Yeah. Over the river and back down. Not a proper first ride, but we got it in. Yeah, pretty good. A little shakedown. Yeah. Well, I think that's where this video is going to end. Yeah. We got the bike going. We'll get a real ride going Ooh. eventually. Thanks for watching, you guys. And we'll see you on the trail. That's a 50 state trail. <laughs> yeah, I remember last time I couldn't remember if it was singular or plural. Singular. Shouldn't it be plural? The trails. Maybe on your YouTube channel. Yeah, it is on mine. <laughs>